Hi, this is Javi Rappaport and welcome Torah Wisdom To Go. I'm so glad you're here. So how was your week? Did you hear God's voice? Did you catch the whispers? <laughs> Did you bump into him? This week we're gonna talk about, let's talk about details. Are they totally unnecessary or are they a mark excellence. Did you ever hear advice like, don't get caught up in the details or don't lose the forest for the trees. Focus on the big picture. Sounds like good advice. Well, imagine like I'm having done right now. Someone's painting your home and he says, oh, I painted the room, it's magnificent, it's even, it's beautiful. The walls look terrific. And the moldings I also painted attention to perfection. It's just that when the moldings meet the wall, uh, you know, there, there are little hints of paint coming down here and there. It's just a minor detail. Then comes another voice. It's all about the details. Let's see what the Torah says. This week's Torah portion, Bahaya Ekev Tishma'un, the Torah tells us, when you will listen to my laws, I will keep the confident of kindnesses that I promised to your forefathers, Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. And the Torah uses an interesting word, Ekev, instead of Im, which means if, or kasher, if, or when, akev. You know what akev is? Akev is a heel. A heel. Why does the Torah use a heel? So Hashem is saying two things. If you, there's a twofold message here. If you bear these two things in mind, wow, your service is outstanding and I will bless you with so many blessings and kindnesses. What are those two things? Let's think about a heel. A heel, it's the lowest part of the body, least amount of sensitivity. You've heard the expression, I feel like a heel, right? Crushed under the heel. So this is referring to mitzvot that, eh, they don't seem so important. They seem insignificant. Like the hit, like a heel, or okay, I'll do the most important part of the mitzvah, but the heel of it, the details of it, that doesn't really matter, does it? I got the main picture. So God says no. Hashem says no. If you pay attention to those little, seemingly insignificant mitzvot and details, and you treat them as the most important mitzvah, and they're all the same to you, that is noteworthy. That I love. And the second thing, a heel, even though the heel is the lowest part of the body, when you've got to move, what moves first? It's the heel. You know, you've, I'm sure you've heard the expression, he clicked his heels and he was off, right? quick to action without a, uh, without a second thought. That's the second beauty. I don't start speculating. Is this a mitzvah I relate to? Is this a mitzvah that I find enjoyment and satisfaction? Is this an easy mitzvah for me? It makes no difference. Every mitzvah is the same and I am on my heels, ready to go, ready to move because I'm all in. It makes no difference. It's important or seemingly unimportant. I love doing it. It's easy for me or it's difficult for me. Here I am. So what do you think? Is it about details? I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And as always, remember, the Torah speaks to me and to you personally.